Hello friends and enemies, it's me V. Now, I washed my face and wanted to talk to you guys before I go and get food from Woodman's. Or rather supplies, I, I really need supplies. Whew. So what am I going to be talking about today? I'm glad you asked. I will be talking about... I just forgot. I was going to say it and then I forgot. Oh shit. It's not memory. It had to do with, um, let's see, what was I talking about? Um, shoot, I was in. Oh no, I really did forget. No, I'm serious. I forgot what the fuck I was going to talk about. Shit, damn it. Ah, this is the one thing I hate about quarantine because when you have lockdown, quarantine, nine out of ten times, you tend to forget what the hell you were going to say because you were by yourself. Like me. If you were me, you're by yourself, typically. You can't remember what the hell's going on. Now, um, oh, oh, here's a little thing I just realized. Um, I visited my family. For those of you who don't know, I did fit him. I did look and meet my parents, stay with them for a day or so, and I wanted to show you something. These... Wait, do where the hell are the masks? These masks are what I used. I realize I really should actually get rid of them because when you've had a mask for as long as possible, they tend to get old. But I've used this mask. Whenever I meet my parents, I use this mask for those you don't know. And, and this is from March. These masks are from March of 2020. This is and then 95. I have used that every time. When I see my parents, I hug them from the back. And I make sure that my, he that my head is to the side. And I do this because I don't want anything to happen. I've not gone to any parties. I have made sure to be the best person that I could possibly be. I haven't gone, met people who weren't family. Um, I've just... Stay to myself for the most part. I am also putting on, um, I'm, I'm putting on moisturizer if you can't tell. I just watched a YouTuber by the name of One Vlog Away. She had a couple videos up, two. One where she said she was exposed to COVID-19 and the other where she hits that she got it. Here's the shitty thing. Now, she herself did not do this. This was a co-worker of hers, another manager, who went to a Christmas party where there were 75 other fucking individuals. This man and his wife went to this 75 person fucking Christmas party. His wife tested positive for COVID. He goes to work for three fucking days, and the only reason he 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 tells he tells this vlogger like, hey, just so you know, I've got COVID. The only reason my lip, my face is so dry, I apologize. No, I don't. The only reason he tells her, hey, you may you know have it, is because he can't he can't fucking taste or smell. So he tells her, I lost my sense of of taste or smell. And she says that she cannot tell him, go home, because he's another manager. Which means this motherfucker has this thing, and he is purposely infecting other people because he doesn't want to go home and lose money. If you had stayed your ass at home with your fucking wife, and that has 75 fucking idiots going around without masks, without fucking masks. Now, I understand. I understand if you have masks and you see family, you know what? I'm not going to argue because, again, I saw my mom. I saw my dad. I wore a mask. Every time I saw them, I refused to take the mask off unless I was in the bathroom. I shut the door. I would open the door. Try to go on lice all that shit so, you know, if I have it, it won't spread to my mom or my dad if I had used his bathroom. And I made sure that we... We kept apart. I did that. I could understand if you, if it had been just maybe 
one or two people, three people maybe, in your family where you haven't seen them, okay, I'm willing to give you benefit of the doubt. But 75 fucking motherfuckers, that shit, you purposely did that shit. You selfishly did that shit. And then, knowing that your wife tested positive for COVID, you decide, you know what, I'm going to fuck on over to work and purposely get people sick. Now, I know he may have not meant to personally do it, but at the same time, he fucking did it. And I say this as someone who has a who has a, had a friend since November of 2020 still having the fucking effects. And here's the thing. We don't know what the effects are on children, on the people who do live. We're finding out things. We're finding out that there are blood clots, finding out that blood is becoming very thick. You got headaches. You're more success, susceptible to strokes, heart attacks, and crap. There are men out there who have AEDs, erectile dysfunction. They're talking about it and being like, hey, this is a side effect I'm noticing. And this man said, fuck everybody. I'm going to go out and have fun. And I'm going to get everybody else involved. Which means those 75 people then went back to work and affected maybe 20 other people. Even though he had a mask on. And when I say he had a mask on, what I mean is that one vlog away mentioned, at work, they have masks on and they say separate. But I'm willing to bet that man had on his mask and still was able to permeate and give people COVID. Because she was scared for herself and her mother, who's elderly. She's got a son and a husband as well that she had to worry about. Her son's autistic. And as she said later on, I don't want to... You know, put my son who's autistic through the, you know, through getting tested because he will not understand what's going on. He will scream and freak out. So I'm going to try to avoid him being tested for as long as possible because she and her husband later tested positive for COVID. Her mother has to get tested. Her mother's elderly. So um, his selfishness got others sick. And that's the thing that gets me. People are saying, I need to party. I need to party. And they're like, well, not everybody dies. You're right. Not everyone dies. Not everyone that gets this does die. However, the groups that are most affected and who are dying are who? Oh, they're black. They're Latinx. They're indigenous. Three groups that are suffering the most. And you have motherfuckers who are like, I'm going to go out. I'm not going to wear a mask. Fuck you. I'm washing my hands. Hold on. So what you're saying to me is that you don't give a shit about other people. You, Or rather, you don't give a shit if your family and who you love get sick. What you are saying is, I am tired of this, so I don't want to be inconvenienced. So fuck mom. Fuck dad. Fuck, you know, the person I work with. Fuck all of them because I will do what I want. And that's the thing that pisses me the fuck off. Because I've had people recently without mask on. Um, I went to go get my, my mail. Gone to get my mail four times because I bought packages. And each time I have talked to the person at the desk, they're not wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask. But they aren't wearing a mask. There was one time where they were in proximity of me within my personal bubble. We're not talking six feet. They were less than six feet talking to me. And this was the first time where I was getting my packages and I was like, what is going on with such and such's face? Why? That seems weird. What is such and such's face like? Oh, oh, shit. That was Thursday. It's now Wednesday and I have to get more packages because again, I ordered stuff at end of December, beginning of January and all of my stuff is coming in and I'm glad I'm able to get my stuff. But at the same time, it's like, shit, they're not wearing a mask. I don't like this. I don't like it. And I know some people are arguing, well, you know, people need to have fun and people need to let loose. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I, th I think a lot of people aren't realizing. 
by you having quote unquote fun and letting loose, you still are infecting people. You may be asymptomatic and you just killed your entire family. I just got done reading an NPR article where the husband, his father, his brother, his brother-in-law, his, uh, his wife, really, the wife's brother and sister, um, I think there was a grandchild in there. All of them sat in for Thanksgiving. It was around Thanksgiving. They were eating. They didn't have masks because they had been so vigilant. And then they were like, oh, we're fine. We're fine. The wife was hugging people. She worked where there were kids and they weren't wearing masks. And the husband's like, I think maybe you should start wearing a mask. And she's like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Except it wasn't fine. You know why it wasn't fine? Because guess what? The guy got sick. And then his dad got sick. And then his brother got sick. Everybody got sick. But guess who died? His father died. His brother died. And then his brother-in-law died. His wife's brother died. All three of these men died. They don't know who had COVID. But as a result of all of them being together, maskless, and not being diligent, three people died. And I know some of you are like, who cares? But you have to realize, if a person is in intensive care, that means that they have to go to the hospital. So you're now putting someone else's life into a hospital and saying to that doctor or nurse, hey, um, I need you to decide whether my family member lives or not. Because there's like tons of other people and... Everybody was like, hey, let's all go get sick. Or rather, everyone was like, I don't care. Do whatever. And now we have all these people that are sick and they need to decide who to save and who to let go. Are they going to keep someone who is physically disabled? It's probably, or no, who's not able-bodied, sorry. Are they going to keep someone who's not able-bodied? Are they going to go for the elderly and help them? Or are they going to go for a young person who's married? Are they going to go for somebody who, you know, has all this different thing? And it's really fucked up that we as a nation, or rather we as a world, because now, now cases are spiking, where people are like, you know what? I'm going to let someone else decide who lives and dies. I'm going to give them trauma, and I'm perfectly fine with having them suffer and have nightmares of watching people die and not being able to do anything because I want to go out for a shitty ass party so I can post it on on Facebook and Instagram. I've had so many people post things on face Facebook and Instagram of them going to parties. I'm fucking tired of it. I really am. I'm irritated. I'm angry. And now that I mentioned it, you know what? I should just delete them. They don't bring me joy. They bring me anger. And to have people say, well, who cares? No, you should fucking care. Because these people that had lives died. And some people are, are arguing, well, it's God's will. How the fuck do you know if it's God's will? If you are religious, how the fuck do you know that it's God's will? If God created or helped people create vaccines so they could, you know, get this 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 medication or this drug of this vaccine so they don't then get it and die... Or if they gave people the knowledge, if God gave people the knowledge to say, hey, this is how you can stop the spread of it. And then you say, no, I'm not going to get the vaccine or no, I'm not going to, you know, put on the mask. Then aren't you spitting at God and saying, fuck you, God, I'll do what I want. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that's what you essentially are saying. You were saying, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my own thing, which reveals that you are really selfish as fuck. And how do you know that when you die, God's not going to be, God and St. Peter, whoever you believe in, isn't going to be sitting there and look, being like, look, motherfucker, we gave you, we gave human beings the tools so they wouldn't spread it. And you purposely spread it to people, showing your ignorance, your greed, your selfishness. Why should we let you into heaven? Why shouldn't we just put you in purgatory or send you to hell? What's stopping us from doing that? Because you have shown yourself to be a selfish person who have used us as this, you know, to tout your ignorance. What's to say God's not saying that to people who died? 
who selfishly, and I'm not talking about the ones who died because they did the best they could and motherfuckers coughed in the face. I'm talking about the selfish ones who continue doing stuff. I went on, oh no, they didn't. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a part of, oh no, they didn't. And this person mentioned how they had a family member who keeps going on fucking vacation. And this son of a bitch went to Bermuda and both parent-in-laws, the mother and the father-in-law died. They died of COVID. They got COVID, they died. The couple were not affected. The couple then decided after four months, hey, let's go on another trip. And now they're going on to Jamaica or at least trying to get to Jamaica. And they're bringing their kids and they're bringing some other family members. And it was, and, and, and when they, and when the poster said, like, I talked to him and said, why are you doing this? Stop doing this. We're in a pandemic. Their response was, if it's God's will, it's God's will. God sent you a message. Like as someone who is religious, I am religious, believe it or not. I do believe in God. Um, I'm trying to become, Jew I'm trying to become Jewish. Um, my philosophy is there are always signs that God leaves you. Or at least for me, I, I feel like every time I'm looking at things, I'm like, that is a sign. I could take it as a sign. I personally take it as a sign and say, maybe that's what, you know, God is saying, um, which could be very Christian. And I, I don't know, again, I'm learning or at least trying to learn. Um, you went on a trip and both your family members died. Maybe that was God's sign of stay your ass home. Just, just saying, just one of the things I was thinking and saying, who knows, but it, it just, it baffles me. It angers me. It baffles me that people are so, they don't care. P human beings do not care. I'm realizing that I didn't want to realize that, but now I'm really realizing that. And I'm like, okay, I should accept it, but I don't want to accept it because if I accept it, that means the ignorance won out. That means stupidity, ignorance, and just laziness won out in the end. And that's a depressing thing to think about. That's what we are. That's my rant for today. Just a sadness. And knowing that several people have had it. Um, another person that got it was a woman. Okay, I'm part of this gaming. I'm part of Game of Sultans and... Someone, someone has it. Someone's family member had it. Uh, right now they're doing fine, but they're still in the hospital. And it's just that thing of like, holy shit. I'm sending them good vibes. My friend who's had it since November, she's still having it. And the doctors are like, look, here's prednisone. We're doing the best we can, but we can't do a lot. And so she's still in pain. I'm hoping it gets better for her. But who knows? Just be safe out there. Be smart. Wear a mask. If you're having sex, wear a mask. Make it sexy and fun. Do it from the back and be like, oh, I'm a different person. Peekaboo. Okay. And when I say peekaboo, I mean, keep the fucking mask on. Be, be like, yes, I'm a different sexy person and you're a spy and I'm a spy and we're at a masquerade ball. Blah. Okay. That was just one scenario that came to mind. I don't know how you keep it going, but you keep it going. I want to get this vaccine so then I can go out. Still wearing my mask, be, be, but be like, yeah, baby, I got my mask. I mean, I got my mask in, I got my vaccine and my mask. I got my mask skiing on. Fuck with me, but don't fuck with me. Seriously, keep your ass away because I want to, you know, be alive and you be alive. But that was my rant. I'm going to let you guys go. And as always, fuck Tom Brady.